So to Bogota, Colombia, and the staging of an ATP World Tour 250 event for the first time since 2002. It represents a very special return for the Colombian contingent involved. It means a lot for our country. It means a lot for all the tennis fans who were, were waiting for about, almost 12 years to get this uh, kind of event back. It's amazing uh, that things are going, going the right way. I think Colombia is having a great time in tennis. Uh, we are making history. I think it's going to be an amazing event for us, for the people, for the fans, for the country, for everything. And I think it's going to be very special and amazing. Part of an impressive field in its first year back was second seed Kevin Anderson of South Africa. With his background, the event appeared to be the perfect fit. It's a new tournament, so I think a lot of players are, are excited about it. Um, I know it's quite high altitude, so that was sort of uh, one of the reasons uh, I'm going to be playing it uh, growing up at Joburg, which is 6,000 feet, and I think Bogus has got us actually by a couple thousand feet. So um, it's the first of the hardcore tournaments for the summer, so it's a tournament that I'm very excited to be playing this year. Just how the players handled the altitude would be key. The thinner air would influence their approach, physically and tactically. Bogota is so high, so we normally we, we play with pressureless balls, and because uh, the normal balls are so difficult, that's why I play uh, I play flat. Uh, there is no long rallies, always a couple, or, uh, maybe two or three strokes, and and that's it. The biggest thing is just the uh, the ball traveling through the air, uh, the bounces, it definitely bounces up. Uh, there's sort of conditions that I like playing in. The feel is also a little bit tricky as well though because the balls definitely fly off the racket with the air being so thin. So I think uh, hopefully uh, growing up with it maybe gives me a bit more comfort uh, playing it than some of the other players which I'm sure is going to be quite new for them. I think that people have to remain aggressive. The players have to remember that whoever tries to defend in Bogota is going to have the back against the wall and they're not going to fare well. You have to be bold, you have to be audacious, and you have to want it very, very bad because you are going to have some adverse situations out there. For Colombia, the return of tennis comes at a perfect time. The organizers are now hoping Bogota has an event that will grow year on year. Well, it means a lot to me and to the Colombian tennis. It's amazing the opportunity we, we've got now. Uh, Santiago and I uh, worked so hard to to get the tournament. I mean, not the, not to make it, but talking to the ATP and telling them uh, that we needed to, we wanted to have a tournament. And yeah, people are working so hard for it, and, and well, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for us. Colombian Alejandro Falla had an amazing opportunity on home soil to capture a first ATP World Tour title if he could defeat the big serving Ivo Karlovic. Their only previous encounter was a tight five setter, won by Falla at Roland Garros in 2008. After two and a half months on the sidelines with viral meningitis, Karlovic was happy just to be playing. The Croat also made an early break. It took Fire a while to settle into this Claro Open final. When he did, the 29-year-old began to show flashes of brilliance. The problem for Fire was that Karlovic was proving untouchable on his serve. He hadn't been broken all tournament, and that didn't look like changing. First set to the Croat, 6-3. In the second set, Fire came out determined to find that break. But despite some early glimmers, there were no clear-cut chances. At least Fire was looking strong on his own serve, and the second set looked destined for a tiebreak. For the first time in the match, it wasn't just Karlovic bossing play at the net. In game 11, though, the unseeded Croatian forced three potentially crucial break points, doing what he does best with some aggressive volleying. And at six foot ten, he was unpassable once at the net. But roared on by the home crowd, Fire saved all three of those break points.
However, with more trademark aces, the match went to Karlovic. A whopping five years after his last ATP World Tour title in Nottingham, the 34-year-old from Zagreb becomes the first winner of the Claro Open in Bogota. No mean feat for a man so ill only two and a half months ago. And it's a return to the world's top 100 for both players after their fine runs in Colombia.